I want to talk about today is using Hexnavi's ePortfolio and basically the first one we'll start with is getting things set up. So I'm on my Moodle right now and I look across here the left hand side and click on my portfolio. And to start with is just some basic information about me. So I can just uh, click on edit and right now the word info I can just write in info about me. Just general sort of stuff goes in there and see that's saved. Now the way an ePortfolio works is imagine you're building up a, uh, a newspaper page all of your own and basically you have to put together the articles and then put them together so people can view um, that particular page. So first off you need some categories to put your items into. So let's say I have an, a category called um, news and I can also have subcategories to these but I'll leave those for now and let's I say I have another one called um, uh, videos and I can have as many categories as I want but I need to have categories for things to go into so next I'll click onto my portfolio and in here basically you can see I can have um, I can either view all my items just the links, just the files, or just the notes. And I can create links, I can share files, and I can share notes. So let's share a link to start with. So I'll just click on Add New Link. Um, um, let's say link to uh, a lesson at MIT. And I have to choose a a category, that's why you have to do categories first, and the URL. And if I go up here, I can see I've got the URL, and put the URL back in there, put a bit of information about it, click Save, and there's my URL. Now let's say for example I want to share a file with people. So I'd click on File, add a new file, uh, give it a title, um, let's say. So this is something I just want to share with um, another member of staff. I can click on Browse and then whatever file it is I want let's say share that file um, info about the file, write that in there, save changes and I've got two items if I want to do some notes basically I will just add a text note text goes in here to describe it, save the changes, so now I've got if I click on all items you can see I've got I've got a note, a file and a link in the two categories and now what I can do with these three items, obviously you can have loads loads more I pull them together into a view. This is a bit like pulling together the different um, articles and putting them together onto a page of a newspaper, say page one and you can have multiple views, just the same as you have multiple pages in a newspaper, each one um, made up of uh, different um, different items, you can have the same items on different pages, so we'll, we'll add a view. Let's give this, uh, just call this info page and whatever you want to do with it. See down here I've got my items, so what I can do is I can just drag things across here. Let's put that in there. I can enter a headline here. And that's my view put together. 
and then I can also add such things as this my personal information which is that first thing that I uh, I put together I can just drop that in somewhere I can add a another headline I can add another text box so I can just type in text here and then what I want to finally finished with everything I can click on sharing right I can share things with the rest of the world click on external access and this will allow people to look at this if I don't want that I can click on internal access I can have internal access for everybody in Moodle or I can choose who's going to have access and then when I do that it gives me a list of all the other participants in every course with which I am a part so what I could do is I can just choose choose a few that I want to share it with well, let's say for this one I'm just going to get rid of that and do external access when I'm finally finished click on add and then it's adding it and now if I click on this here's my ePortfolio